ignore my voice i don't know what the heck is going on with it but as you guys can see my hair <coughs> my hair is crazy but i decided to just do like a little get ready with me because i haven't filmed in so long i honestly just haven't been up to like filming or anything i wanted to show you guys like some new things that i got so i got a new straightener and i wanted to show you guys like what i got with it i got it at the mall and they gave me like a couple things with it so it is and this video is not sponsored but i got this new straightener while my boyfriend got it for me and i tried it once and my hair was kind of already straight so i want to retry it now that my hair is washed this is what it looks like and then they gave me like this little pad for like you don't set your straightener on just whatever it goes on this and it won't burn it or anything and then they gave me this brush i i seen them like a couple times but i never really like paid attention but it's like a little brush and then when you're straightening it you go like this and straighten your hair because i found out that just using like your fingers because like how i would straighten my hair is i would just part it and then i would go like this and i found out that's how you get more split ends i think i look rough i found out that's how you get more split ends so i'm gonna try this and see if it works and then they also gave me this serum i asked like a lot of questions about this because i didn't want to get this like serum if it wasn't gonna help my hair because i did dye my hair as you guys know and i want it to feel as healthy as possible so it looks like this it's kind of dirty because i used it and this serum alone is really like expensive like really really expensive but buying the straightener i got it for free along with this comb and that little mat i showed you guys so i read the things on this and it says that i had to apply it on damp hair so i reapplied it to my hair um and honestly it smells super good and a little goes a long way like you put a little tiny pump and it like covers half your head and for me i have really thick hair so hopefully it works out good but yeah i wanted to show you guys that and then i did also get like a new dress and stuff from route 21 if i have the picture i'll put it right here but yeah we are gonna test this straightener out so i'll be right back i am gonna go blow dry my hair because it is still a little damp and then yeah we're gonna get to straight okay, i'm really exposing myself but this is what my hair looks like i have so much hair it's ridiculous but now i'm just gonna part it and then plug the strainer in the thing i like about this is honestly it gets hot so fast i'm obsessed it was either this color or marble but i got this color because i feel like i don't know i'm like more like rose gold like right now if that makes sense and the highest it goes up to is 450 and honestly it freaking gets hot fast like see that little like temperature thing that's it getting hot that's how fast it gets hot i am obsessed usually i put a lot more product in my hair like non-frizz stuff and like all that but i just put the serum because i wanted to see how good it would work honestly the serum ain't for like frizzy hair like for it to not be like poofy or anything it helps it to stay healthy and hydrated so we're just gonna put this in my hair i just want to see how good this works for it being expensive it better work good so i was like real big on the whole johnny depp and amber heard ignore that ugly ass pimple breaking out but i was like so invested into the amber heard and johnny depp whole court case and everything he won today of course everyone already knew that but yeah he won honestly i can't use my left hand so i feel like when i use this it just feels so weird and then like the thing about this is the brush no matter like how long you keep it on the curling iron because like you put them side to side the the brush is made to like not burn like it's not even hot right now so that's good and honestly like my old straightener when i would straighten it i would have to go over it like five times but this one it works so freaking good 
and then my like ends would never ever straighten like ever like see how that's straight my ends would always be like that and it would piss me off so bad this ain't sponsored or nothing i just get excited when i get new stuff and if i like it i'm pretty sure you girls are gonna like it so i just like like to show you guys what i get in case you guys are interested or looking for a new straightener however mirror i would say this one this one is so good i'm gonna finish straightening my hair i just wanted to like talk to you guys a little bit but i'm gonna finish straightening my hair and then show you guys the end result okay so i'm done straightening my hair it came out so cute but now i'm gonna put this serum in it and hopefully it looks even better this serum smells so good it's ridiculous okay guys we are gonna start on my makeup too like my little charm thing but so honestly the next video that you guys are gonna see is i want to get my nips pierced so hopefully that's the next video you guys will see of course you guys won't see like the whole thing but you guys will see my like reaction on like how it feels and all of that i was gonna do it like two days ago but everywhere was closed so we're just gonna wait i honestly kind of been putting it off because i'm kind of scared but i've been putting it off for too long now so i think i'm just gonna do it so i got all these like whatever they're called because i actually want to start doing eyelashes eyelash extensions so i got all these they just like fell out of this but i tried it myself and honestly it's a lot harder well, honestly, it's not even that hard to, like, do it on myself. I just don't know how to make the fans. So, I kind of want to just, like, learn and get used to it before I actually, like, do it on someone else. But we're going to start with my makeup. I don't think I'm going to put foundation on today just because my face has been breaking out so much. We're just going to do a little simple look. So, I got this new um concealer for from covergirl it looks like this it is so white but i feel like it goes good with my foundation and stuff and honestly it dries so fast i'm just gonna throw it on my eye i know it looks super white and it is but i feel like it looks super good when my eyeshadow goes on top of it yes i do use concealer for my like what is it called like for my eyeshadow just because i feel like it makes it come out a lot more and i'm not a professional of doing makeup so i just do what works for me like that and then i'm gonna do this side so i haven't been wearing makeup a lot because i've been working so much sorry guys if i'm looking up here my mirror is over here but I haven't been wearing makeup a lot because I just been working and I don't feel like there's a need to wear, there's glitter on this brush. I just don't wear makeup at work, so I haven't been wearing makeup or eyelashes or anything. I just don't feel the need to like wear makeup at work because I'm at work, so my eyelashes have been getting so long and i haven't really had eyelashes since i started wearing uh fake eyelashes so i'm kind of glad that they're growing because i don't know if like i ever told you guys but i never wore fake eyelashes until like i think senior year of high school is when i started to wear them like all my family would wear eyelashes and honestly, I just always got, like, frustrated, like, trying to put them on. And I just felt like they didn't fit me as good. But now I'm obsessed with them. I feel like I should put music on, but I don't want to get copyrighted. So you guys are just going to have to listen to me talk the whole time. 
and if you guys hear noises it's because my window has like a big old tree by it and there's like a fucking school of birds that won't shut up all fucking day so if you guys hear that just ignore it so honestly if i do my nipples i kind of want them to do them like at the same time just because i already know like if i do one i'm gonna know exactly how the other one feels and i'm gonna like not want to do it that's how it was with my lips right here i had a uh, snake bite and my cousin did them the first time did she did this one first and when she did that one first i started tearing up and i kept telling her i didn't want to do the second one because i already knew that one was gonna hurt 10 times worse and i was like scared but she convinced me to do it and i'm glad she did i kind of want to get those back but I feel like I'm at the age where, I don't know, I feel like I'm too grown for that. My boyfriend likes them. I just want to do my nips because I feel like it would look cute and to like put cute jewelry. My auntie, my sister, and my cousin, I believe, have their nipples pierced. And they said it didn't hurt that bad, but they put numbing cream and stuff. And I don't know if I will get numbing cream in time, but yeah hopefully the next video you guys see i am not a pussy and i got my nips pierced which i'm honestly super scared about i feel like i haven't posted in so long and i, I don't know i feel like i've been at this like mindset of like i haven't posted like why should i post now if that makes sense but i finally just decided to do it and i've been working a lot a lot so i haven't even been able to film content for you guys so i feel like you guys see the same thing like you guys see me get ready so many times but i feel like this one's kind of different like i'm actually talking and not just talking about the products i'm using if you guys do want to see like my full like makeup routine i did post a video just go on my page and it should be like the third or fourth one down i never know what the hell to put what to film and I feel like my life is just too boring to film my life. Y'all, that pimple is bugging the shit out of me. But if you guys want to see me get my nips pierced, let me know so I know to record or not. I'll probably have my boyfriend record because I'm a pussy and I'll probably put it down and start crying. Which I hope it doesn't hurt that bad. I don't know what do you guys like want to see because I, I'm kind of tor more towards like beauty guru and all that instead of like challenges and pranks now like at first when I first started my channel I was like wanting to do pranks and challenges but I feel like I kind of don't want to put I don't want my channel to be about that like yeah of course I'll put some of them sometimes but mostly i just want it to be like a beauty guru channel if that makes sense because everyone's like oh you could just post this and do this but i'm like i don't want my channel to be like that if that makes sense so y'all let me know i wanted to do a like a hygiene product one where i go and buy new hygiene product shit but i don't know would you guys like to see that because I would love to try new hygiene products. I feel like you could never go wrong with a hygiene video. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see that. Like if I end up do deciding, I will post on my Instagram. I'll post the story on my Instagram. And I'll ask you guys to like give me some products to try and I'll go buy them. And I'll do like a review on them and stuff. So if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, follow me. It'll be in the description down below. Yeah, I swear we have ghosts in our house. My boyfriend don't believe me, but I swear we do. Like shit would just be falling off our... Um, like in our kitchen, shit would just be flying. Like one time I was studying in the kitchen and... I was talking to my boyfriend's sister and 
We were just chilling in the fucking shot glass. That looks horrible. A fucking shot glass fucking flew off of our like cabinets because we have like a little spot that we could put stuff. And shit, a fucking shot glass flew off. And it couldn't just like fly off because like the little thing that it was on, like the shelf, there's like a little like piece and then the shelf goes under. So there's like a piece that blocks it. So I couldn't just like been at the edge and fell off because there was that piece of board. Yeah, I think we have ghost. I need to go through my closet because I have a bad habit of when it turns like winter, I just get rid of all my summer clothes. So I need to go through my closet and see what the hell I have. Because I'll wear the same shirt over and over and over again. I have like that bad habit. Because all my shit is in the back that I didn't get rid of for summer. And I won't know it's back there until I freaking clean out my closet. If you girls are like that, let me know because I cannot be the only one. Like, you just find that one comfortable shirt and then you wear it all the time. Looks like we're scraping the eyelash glue today. I was so pissed when I bought this fucking um, mascara. I seen it at work and I was like, might as well, like, mine's already dried out. And I could have sworn it said $5. $5. So, oh shit, they rang it up and it was $15, 15 fucking dollars. And I got too nervous to tell them I didn't want it no more. So I just ended up paying fucking $15 for eye mascara. And I was so pissed. I wonder if I could like cover this without actually wearing makeup, if you could tell. That is super wet. Don't you guys hate when you just get pimples in the worst spots ever? When I, when I like actually first started breaking out, I would break out on my forehead a lot, a lot, a lot. But recently I've been breaking out right here on the sides and I am going crazy. It is so ugly. So if you guys have anything like that clears acne scars or like helps with acne, message me on Instagram because I need one so bad. That's not expensive because they be fucking charging you for um for acne scar. Like anything fucking facial wise, they charge you so much. For like a three ounce fucking thing and it's ridiculous. So I've been thinking about filming a new intro. I feel like the one I recently just filmed. If you guys have not watched it, go watch it. I posted it. Um, I just like outgrew it so fast. But yeah, let me know if you guys like it or not. If you guys do not follow me on TikTok, go follow me. I do do like mini clips of my YouTube videos that I'm gonna post. So if you guys wanna see little highlights before I actually post it, go follow me. Bro, my acne scars are so bad. You can never go wrong with too much highlight. So, okay guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat gram. I left for a while, so, and I forgot to end out the video, so I'm ending it up now. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see, because I need some ideas. But yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and follow my social media. It'll be down below. Bye, guys.